Oh, isn't this just such great cinematography? Don't you you can see me? Oh, but no, no, no. Now I've moved off to the side. Oh, this, but this is great though. Oh wait, no, I'm out of focus again. Oh, this is artistic, right? You know, like. <laughs> Ooh, that's a hot mug, guys. Hey guys, this is my review for Zack Snyder's Army of the Dead. I'm gonna start talking about it right off the bat. That little bit there, that was shot at a 1.8 aperture setting. That usually, when used in films or television shows, most of the time, at least from my experience, is associated with a character who's either on a bender, having suffered a concussion, or in some form of fear state. Because the idea of not being able to see literally two feet in front of you isn't a sense of artistic visualization. When it's in a film like this and it's used just for for fucking conversations, when all of a sudden wide shots will be in complete focus, sometimes I'll have to go to a 4 or a 5 for aperture ratio to show the full fight scene, otherwise you wouldn't be able to see shit. But the constant cut to this kind of aspect ratio is so goddamn annoying. Zack Snyder was the DOP for this movie. You can just tell that everything that he did for that weird epilogue scene for his Justice League movie in terms of that weird in and out fo focus shit, he uses that for the entirety of this movie. And I'm getting this out of the way with first because I'm just saying that I didn't like how it was shot at all. I didn't like that because he couldn't see anything. All of the background work, all of the work that the set designers and the production team would have put into this is completely unseen because of this damn aspect ratio. Maybe that was a tool used to lessen down on the budget so they didn't have to do as much visual effects for outward, but he had enough money to literally artificially insert a different comedian because Chris DeLay was in some Me Too business for himself. If you had that much money, I don't know why they just didn't... I don't know. It, Army of the Dead is Zack Snyder's new film about a bunch of mercenaries going into Las Vegas that was overrun by a super special kind of zombie virus all in the attempt to steal $200 million from a casino vault. That's kind of it. There's not a lot to this movie, and considering this movie is actually longer, if I'm correct, than Zack Snyder's first throwaway into the zombie verse with his Dawn of the Dead all the way back in 2004, I'm kind of surprised at how little story is in this. Considering the diversity of the actors and the cast, I thought that it was cool to see a bunch of different characters. While I was admittedly quite cautious at seeing the... Zack Snyder writer credit, because let's be honest, the last time he had a full-on writing credit was Sucker Punch. So I have fairly decent constructive criticism when it comes to Zack Snyder as a writer. I don't think the guy can write. Simple, dumb popcorn flicks like this movie? Sure. Did he have a few cool, interesting ideas in terms of how the zombies were represented in this? Yeah, would have liked to have seen a lot more, but I feel like they kind of just did the bare minimum. There's an Omega and a queen, and then there was something that was happening between those two, and that's it. I just described to you in two sentences the entire lineage of the whole zombie hierarchy. There's a lot that is surprisingly absent from this film. More kind of basis behind what happened with the zombie virus, specifically a tool or some sort of failed experiment from the military. Why were they transporting it? I know that you're not supposed to ask questions like these, but I expect that the film to do, you know, at least the bare minimum in terms of establishing this. It's kind of funny how everyone's just so nonchalant about everything. Is the film decently well made? That's kind of debatable. I thought that some of the action scenes were well done there's a really interesting kind of john wick sort of like fight scene with a bunch of zombies it reminded me actually cg animated uh, resident evil films where they go all gung fu as the film progresses i feel like the plot just kind of falls apart not in terms of plots going off in different directions and not being answered not in terms of uh, like weak character actions it's more so it's just kind of ends. It limps along to the end because it has to rather than actually finishing. And I think this is something that Snyder has shown. He doesn't really know how to end his movies. Look at his version of Justice League. He has an epilogue that is near on 30 fucking minutes long. Who makes an epilogue that long? No one does. And I find that's how it is with this movie because you thought that there was this dark ending and then there's an epilogue that keeps going and going. And when it's finally over you're like, Huh? Considering the marketing for this movie, considering all of the publicity, the fact that they actually show the first 15 minutes of this for free, that's your money's worth. There's jokes that fall flat, there's character motivations that 
just kind of devolve from while having a cool diverse cast a lot of them kind of just go into stereotypes sure there are a few deaths here and there that are like oh wow that was kind of surprising and while there's others are like well i call that a fucking mile away maybe it was an experiment hey you know what works zombies sure let's try it but let's shoot it with an aspect ratio of that of a fucking pretentious indie feature it doesn't really help with anything it doesn't convey intensity it doesn't convey scale it's seemingly pretentious and trying to be different for the sake of being different not an actual artistic use there's different ways that you can shoot your film there's different ways you can shoot your show sometimes you can use an aperture setting like this but you can't do a whole goddamn movie like it in the end army of the dead is I don't know, it's a Zack Snyder movie that he wrote. What else did you expect? I'm gonna give Army of Dead a two out of seven. I can just watch the first 15 minutes and be satisfied with that, even though some of that's stupid too. When the truck uh, breakdown happens and the zombie gets out of the box, starts just killing all of the army soldiers who are standing all in a line, even though the thing isn't gonna weaving at all, just like no one can hit this fucking thing, I don't know. Zombie movies always come with their own amount of stupidity and this one isn't any different from the others, doesn't have any more, doesn't have any less. It always bugs me when stupid dumb shit like this happens. I know it's supposed to be a popcorn movie, I know I'm supposed to just turn my brain off. There was a point where I just couldn't take it anymore. Anyways guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, I'm going to go back to a aspect ratio where we all can not feel like there's a giant stick up our ass. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.